What good crosshair placement looks like. How to get good crosshair placement in Valorant. So if you're watching this video right now, you've probably heard of crosshair placement and its benefits. But what does it really look like and how do you get better crosshair placement? Well, as you can see, I have the gameplay in the background of me playing Valorant. So based on your game, focus on aiming on the head at all costs. Because generally, you won't have to move your mouse up or down to get that headshot if you pre-aim on the head. This will lessen the time it takes for you to kill the enemy and make it easier to hit headshots. It is critical in games like Valorant and CSGO because it only takes about one to two headshots to kill an enemy. Even if your game isn't fully dependent on headshots, it's still fairly important. Crosshair placement is hard to master, but over time you will see an improvement. This is because just because you have good crosshair placement on some angles doesn't mean that you mastered it. For example, right now I'm shooting at this player. What if there was another player right next to it? Well, I would have to move my mouse to that player and have it at head level. Many players have good crosshair placement on the first enemy, but once you move to another enemy, you still have to keep your crosshair at head level. Good crosshair placement is hard to master in areas where there are a lot of vertical aim needed because it takes time to learn how to pre-aim at the head level in that area. For example, many players aim for the body or feet level while checking heaven and Valorant. The only real way is by experience, so it takes a long time. Long distances aren't necessary for crosshair placement since you can't really see the enemy's head that far, but in medium range, generally you should position yourself and your crosshair a little below how you would in close range. With time, you will feel where you need to aim to get the headshot on medium angles. To practice this, go to the training range in your game and try target switching between close to medium angles, only going for headshots. Another way to get good crosshair placement is checking corners correctly. So before you rush into an area, slowly check for one corner at a time using the pie method. So what you want to do is peek one side and check for the common angles, then keep peeking until the area is fully clear to the other side. This will let you with crosshair placement and you will be ready to take individual fights instead of rushing into an area with possibly two or three enemies without any information. Finally, my last tip on getting good crosshair placement is to adjust your crosshair while jumping and crouching. It throws your aim so much when you crouch or jump because many players don't even move their mouse up with them when they crouch or move their mouse down when they jump. What you want to do is go up to a bot or something and just place your crosshair on his head while jumping or crouching. But when the enemy is the one crouching or jumping, you want to practice tracking if your game has that much vertical movement. Crosshair placement is more of a vertical aiming problem rather than a horizontal aiming problem because you want to get those headshots. What you will notice in this video that crosshair placement takes time because learning from experience will teach you where to pre-aim. There isn't a way to really practice all of your crosshair placement other than experience. A tip I used to learn it though is by reminding myself before I die to check angles precisely at head level. This is because after I die, it's too late to fix my crosshair placement, so I just remind myself even in the middle of a fight to keep it up and on common spots. I know it takes a long time to adjust, especially new players since our brains just don't want to change what's working right now, but in the long run, you'll appreciate yourself. Sorry if I sound sick in this video because I have a little bit of a clogged nose, but yeah.